The Lake ESP system is installed for long-term water quality monitoring and management. The instrument features real-time monitoring of water column temperature stratification, meteorological, and water quality parameters. It is a stationary system that can be easily installed and is more to compensate for fluctuating water levels. Components of the Lake ESP system include above-surface meteorology sensors, below-surface T-chain sensors, a data logger, solar power, and a stable floating station. There are a variety of above-surface metrology sensors that can be connected to the Lake ESP. These sensors are mounted on the Lake ESP station mass at about 2 meters above waterline. The Visola WXT520 is a highly integrated electronic sensor that measures wind speed, direction, air humidity, air temperature, liquid precipitation, and barometric pressure. This sensor has a serial data output and can be directly connected to Lake ESP. The RM Young 05105 Wind Monitor is a mechanical sensor that measures wind speed and direction. This sensor has an analog output and can be directly connected to Lake ESP. The Visola HMP155 HumiCap measures air humidity and temperature. This sensor also has a serial data output and can be directly connected to Lake ESP. Measurements of short and long wave solar radiation can be obtained by several sensors, all having analog outputs. The Kippen Zone in CNR1 and Huskaflex NR01 are both supported by Lake ESP and provide four-channel measurement of upwelling and downwelling short and long wave radiation. The Kippen Zone in CNR2 is supported by Lake ESP and provides a two-channel measurement of net short wave and long wave radiation. There are several types of subsurface sensors available for the Lake ESP system. Presently, these sensors can measure temperature, oxygen, PAR, and water level. Sensors for the measurement of pH, electrical conductivity, and chlorophyll A are future possibilities. All subsurface sensors are integrated onto a rugged single cable T-chain which has serial data output supported by Lake ESP. PME makes each T-chain according to customer specifications. These specifications include the number and type of sensors desired and the depths at which each sensor should be placed. The temperature sensor's measurement accuracy is better than 10 milligrees Celsius. It has a rapid 2 second response to temperature fluctuations and has very low measurement noise. Temperature sensors are calibrated to a wide thermal range from 0 to 36 degrees C. Temperature sensors are permanently molded onto the T-chain. T-chains normally have many of these sensors closely spaced near the thermocline and more widely spaced at depth. The dissolved oxygen sensor is an optode that measures the concentration of oxygen dissolved in the water. The sensor features rapid time response and measurement accuracy of roughly 5% over a range of 0 to 150% oxygen saturation. Unlike temperature, the oxygen sensors are connected on the T-chain and are removable for cleaning or calibrations. PME can also provide a long connection cable to the sensor that allows the sensor to be moved to different depths along the T-chain. T-chains can have several of these sensors. The PAR sensor measures photosynthetic photon flux density. PME uses the LICOR LI192SA underwater quantum sensor, which we purchased from LICOR and adapt to the T-chain. This sensor is connected to the T-chain in the same way used for oxygen and can be removed or positioned at different depths. T-chains sometimes have one of this type sensor. The pressure transducer is a strain gauge transducer that can be provided with a full-scale absolute pressure of 5, 10, or 20 bar. The pressure transducer is connected to the T-chain and can be removed. T-chains typically have one pressure sensor that is the last sensor on a T-chain and is used to determine the water level of the lake or reservoir. The ESP system includes a specially designed data logger located on the station top mast. This logger scans all sensors at a selectable time interval that can be as frequent as every few seconds, but is typically once per minute. The resulting measurements are stored on a flash drive within the logger and can be recorded in this way for many months at a time. Files can be directly transferred to a computer by removing the flash drive and using a card reader, or the files can be telemetered at a selectable interval to shore via cell phone. 
The Lake ESP station is a unique platform that provides a stable support for above-surface metrology sensors and supports the below-surface T-chain. The station is very long and weighted at the bottom with flotation at the top. In addition, there is a perforated disc deep in the water column beneath most surface waves. This arrangement gives a station that does not bob or pitch. The wet parts of the station are all manufactured from Type 316 stainless steel in order to resist corrosion. The station is easily assembled on site and can be shipped anywhere in the world. The water compensating Lake ESP system has a unique mooring design which allows the system to remain stable while the reservoir level rises and falls. The animation demonstrates how the mooring design creates a stable system as the level changes. PME manufactures the mooring based on the customer's installation depth and reservoir level variation. All mooring ropes, floats, and hardware are supplied ready to install. Since anchor weights are expensive to ship, the customer must supply these, but otherwise everything else is supplied by PME. The T-chain is also supplied with the mooring except for anchor. This mooring allows the chain to be suspended in two parts, one that maintains position relative to the surface and one that stays fixed to the bottom. At low water, these sections overlap. The sections and sensor positions are chosen so that complete water column coverage is obtained at all reservoir levels with constant interval measurement of the thermocline. The Lake ESP can be used to monitor real-time lake parameters above and below surface, compute the evaporation rate, detect and understand the opportune conditions for blooms, monitor thermal stratification and mixing, input data into modeling simulations and software, compute lake number, and observe the water depth. These are just a few applications for Lake ESP, as there are many more. Researchers with the U.S. Geological Survey have installed a system in Beaver Reservoir, Arkansas. The USGS Arkansas Water Science Center currently operates the system at Beaver Reservoir to collect water quality data that can be used to provide information for USGS researchers developing a scientific model of water quality and movement in the reservoir. Beaver Water District Managers can use this model to predict how changes in the quality of streams flowing into the reservoir will affect the quality of the water that is used. For pricing and further information, please contact PME.